When my back acts up or feeling aches and pains, nothing beats turning on that TENS unit for relief. Well, we're gonna talk about this iSTEM TENS unit as I get it set up, put it to the test, so I can share with you my thoughts in this video coming right up. Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips, and today I am looking forward to diving in and talking more about this TENS unit that was sent to me. So even though it was sent to me, don't worry, I'll give you my unbiased opinion. Now, what was interesting was when I did my opening to this video, I did it right before I left to go on vacation. I drove down to Florida, long drive down there, very long drive back as a traffic, and my back has generally been doing pretty well, but uh, it's been a while, and so it was the end of my trip, and sure enough, I went to lean down and get some clothing, and I got a back muscle spasm. So timing was right. Now, luckily, this back, back muscle spasm wasn't as bad, but it's definitely been a few days, and I've taken a few extra days just to let my back make sure I'm feeling good, and the TENS unit definitely uh, helps. Now, obviously, this type of device can help for so many different ways. You might have carpal tunnel syndrome. You might have issues with your elbow, fibromyalgia, uh, cramps, uh, and other symptoms, and these TENS units can definitely be of help. And so um, look forward to diving in and demonstrating to you. And they've got uh, a great chart to show with different ways that you can treat yourself. Uh, there's a lot of information I'm gonna share with you on this video, so I'll make sure to timestamp it so you can go directly to those parts of the video. Now, before I demonstrate it to you and show you, the, it's got a really nice big display. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what's included. So uh, back here, you've got this really nice case, so you can take it you know, on the go with you or just keep everything nice and organized. I mean, it is a big case, uh, but there's a lot here that I normally doesn't come with a TENS unit. So you're getting a lot for the value and uh, definitely the features in it are a bit more unique than I've experienced with other TENS units and which I really love. So uh, some typical TENS units, they give you a few electrodes. Here you get quite a number and then you can order a lot more and I'll put a link to those as well. Uh, but let's start here. So you get a total of eight electrodes and these are the pigtails. So you wanna make sure when you can order, you know, go to the link so you get the right ones. They have ones that have the snap uh, that you can use, but these are the pigtails. So in one of these packages, you get a total of uh, four of these. So you'll have eight of those, then you'll have here also in black. So you've got eight in the black as well. Uh, these uh, sizes are two by two, and so you're gonna get eight two by two and white uh, uh, two by twos. And then you also have here, you've got these two by fours, uh, and these you get a total of one, two, three, four, uh, and eight. So you get eight of those as well. Yep, so you get eight pieces, and again, you can order more replacements. Then, moving along, we have the wires, so you'll be able to connect up to eight of the pads, or depending on the combination, you know, if you uh, might, well, these are, I guess, would count like as two, so, but let's just say about eight at the max you could, you know, attach to your body. I don't know uh, if you might ever do that, but uh, you have that option. For me, I was using a total of four when, with my back, and that's what I'll do for demonstrating in this video. Uh, when you are not using the electrodes, you can, electro pads, you can just put in this plastic bag so uh, they could uh, just stay in there and seal it up, uh, or you can just, you know, tuck it back in there and uh, use that. But it's nice that they come with this, or if you've got another baggie that you can you know, put them in, then, then that's great. Then you have for power and charging, you've got the plug. Uh, you can either use it with the power source, uh, regular plug, or with the micro USB. Uh, as far as the charging port, that would be down here. Uh, and we'll talk actually more about uh, the charging in a second and the battery life. Uh, then you also get, um, lastly, you have the instruction manual. Uh, and it's a, a nice book with a lot of good information. Uh, so a lot to read. And I found that I got to pick up and uh, although it's got so many features, uh, you get a pretty 
quick understanding how to use it. And hopefully in my video here will be of help to you too. So one of the other really great things that they've done is they have these guides. One is for electro placement for EMS uh, and then one for TENS. So uh, here, uh, like they have for deltoid, these are for the EMS, internal thigh, thigh, uh, the abdominals, uh, abdominals. <laughs> so, uh, and then you have the electro placement for the TENS, uh, and uh, it shows you there. So nicely done there. Now, as far as charging, uh, this does light up red, this dot and then it turns green when ready it took about an hour and then it was good to go so here's the thing about the unit it does not have a battery indicator of if the battery is getting low so i told the company you really should be able to have on this size unit not to have that i really i'm not sure why they did not but it doesn't so what you probably want to do after so many sessions is just recharge it up and then you'll be good to go uh, on the back by the way it's screwed uh, shut uh, as it says do not replace the or do not open now as far as replacement batteries you probably could reach out to them and ask them about that I'm not sure on that as far as uh, what's nice the unit uh, being that it weighs a little bit uh, not too too heavy but you have this belt clip and as you can see here I can use that for example, like standing up on my desk, which is nice. And yes, I have these fun pants on, which I do love them, especially here when it's getting colder. So it is a little bit of a thicker unit. Now you have four ports up there, uh, and that's for the connector and for the electrode. Uh, so you've got, this is the connector that goes into the, these slots, and then for the electrodes on the other side. And then you have the door that opens up, and that's where you have your whole control panel. You've got your power button here. Uh, then you can adjust, these buttons here are for the four channels. Uh, if you're gonna use a total of, uh, in my case, I'm gonna do four pads, so I'm gonna use just two channels here. And then you have your mode, you have your set, and I'll, again, I'll demonstrate that to you. So what I wanna do now is uh, go ahead and set it up, put it on my back, and then I'll turn it on. Now, let me just uh, share with you just as far as the pads. These are and seem very well made. They seem, they, they stick really well. Uh, you've got obviously a lot here, and then you can order additionals. So it is a three layer pad. Uh, it is a super soft fabric on the outside, and then it has a carbon film on the inside, and then it has what they call third gen, uh, Sakusi, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Japanese gel. So it's got a really nice uh, gel. And in fact, when you take the, the pads off, you'll find they take a little bit longer to take off. So the best way to do this, um, uh, you know, some I've seen in some cases where they say pull from the wire, but I might just pull from the edge of the pad. And then what you'd wanna do is connect it to the electrode wiring. So you've got a black connector and a white connector. So we got one there. And then I am going to do the other one. And then when I am done, I just replace them back onto the sheet and it seems to be working fine for me. So just like that. And now I am going to connect these both onto my lower back. And if you have someone there that can help you, then great. Otherwise, you'll probably get a feel of where you need to replace them. Um, the other way too, which now I'm realizing it might be easier because these might stick together like I just did, is put the pads on your body part and then if you could reach around and feel where you could put plug in, then you'll be good to go. Now you wanna make sure also that you don't turn the unit on before you've got the pads connected. So that is one wire and now I'm going to do the other one um, and then you have again you could do up to you know eight thereabouts so I'm going to take these two and I am going to put one on my back this time I'm going to put it on my back first and then I will connect the wire and then we'll turn it on and I'll demonstrate it to you and I'll tell you this was a big savior for me when I was in Florida and then I had to drive 12 hours back from my trip, there was so much traffic and I wanted to stop often 
And, um, and then you, you know, it's also, if you want to use it for, uh, while you're driving, you could do that too. All right. So now I got the wire there. I'm going to reach back. I'm going to hook that, this up and got that one. And then I got the other one connected. There we go. All right. You want to make sure they're already pushed in. So we got the four. So I got my kind of my middle back and my lower back, and then there are the wires. And then what you want to do is you plug one into channel, one channel, and then one into the other channel. All right, now what you're gonna do, by the way, here is your power button. So you press that button and that turns it on. You can see it's got a nice light up display. So if you're using it at night, uh, it, uh, and then to turn it off, you would just press and hold that down for a couple of seconds and it turns it off. So you could see, and also gives you a little bit of instructions on the door. So we'll turn it on. This, this power button doesn't light up, by the way. That's only for charging. So first of all, you have your timer. So you can adjust your timer um, here. Actually, what you would do to go into the timer, you press set. So till you get to that section, so it's going to do the width and the rate. Now, uh, we'll get back to that in one second. So once you press set and get to the minutes, then you can adjust the time that way, which you can go, you can hold it down and it goes up to 60 minutes or you could do uh, as little as one minute. So you could see one minute uh, and then again, you can do 60 minutes. So you got that there. And then once you had that, you click set uh, actually, let me, let me go back to, it should have saved it. It did not. So there you go. Now it saved it. I must have hit something. Then you have width. Now what width is, which is really cool. Normally with pads, they hit that area and that's it. It feels very narrow with the width. You can actually feel it going wider and wider in that area. And that's really, really cool. I've never seen that with another tens unit which is awesome so you can adjust that uh you can go up and down now depending upon the mode that you're in will allow you to do a certain width and also as far as which i want to show you next so let's just say we'll keep it at 240 um width you hit set now you also have the hertz now what the hertz does is makes the pulse go faster so you can actually have it not only can you have an intense by picking the, le the level, and I'll show you that in a minute, but then you can also pick how fast you want that pulse to send, which is really cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and set it for 66 here for the moment. And there we go. Now, now what we can do, you can go with these different modes. Now you'll see on there, it's got these different modes B and then it goes across there's five different modes and there uh, you can read in the book it's just the different sensations and it does explain there now again you also have on the recommendation on the sheet here uh, it tells you uh, what mode so we've got normal um, the B is for burst, which, is, which I like a lot. And then it does tell you what the width should be and what the pulse should be. So let me go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and set it to mode B. And then what you would do is you would press the arrow button to go up for the level. So we're at five. Now, some of the um, different modes I found were not as Intense at first, I'm like, well, I'm not really feeling anything. But once you start adjusting the hertz as well as the width and making that go higher, you definitely can. For me, I like the burst the best. It's got this just nice pulsating feel to me, uh, and that works best for me. So you can really go up quite a bit. I'm at uh, 10. And now here, if I want, I could go for width. So I can make that go wider, which I'm feeling that on my back, which is so cool. And then you can also, and you can see the, the lights flashing up there too. Uh, that's uh, for the Hertz. So if I were to uh, go up higher on the Hertz, 
the light starts flashing faster too. Now that for, for burst, it goes up to five hertz. So that is the maximum uh, on that one. Now if I were to go to, let me lower the intensity a little bit just to show you here. So if I go to another mode, I'm gonna to go to the next mode. Now if I were to, now here I could go uh, for the hertz. I can hear it's 66, so it's the frequencies are going to be different uh, based upon what uh, the hertz and the width will be different based upon what mode you go into, and it really feels good, and then you can see you got your timer there uh, on the unit. So all in all, I really like this. I think having this hertz and, the, and also uh, the, the width is really a game changer and I love this unit. First I wasn't sure, I was like, well, I'm not really feeling anything. But then as I started using it and I started feeling uh, the, the, the different pulsa pulsating and how effective it really was, I'm like, this is a really a game changer unit. So one, I definitely would give a thumbs up. The only thing for me that I would say is you know, if it's gonna be an issue is letting you know if the battery's gonna die. Uh, so that's what I could think of. And uh, again, it's uh, very effective, it works well. And you could see you just got the wires hanging down there and then you could see I've got one, one, one electrode here, electrode here, and I'm good to go. So uh, again, you can change the different modes um, with this button here and then it shows you on top Ooh, that one is more prickly. Uh, then we have this SD1, which I don't really feel a whole lot. Um, so you can actually, you know, do some adjusting and then you'll start feeling it. And again, you just can lower the intensity there. And then you can, again, adjust with the width as well as the hertz. So let me know if you have any questions. Nice unit. If you know anybody that thought about getting a TENS unit, definitely check this one out. It definitely is unique versus other units out there. Spend the extra money where you can benefit of getting those extra features in a unit that really is fantastic. So I appreciate the company sending it to me. Uh, again, I'll put a link where you can get more of these electro pads uh, as you need them, but you've got here enough to last you for a while, which is good. And then you've got the nice case uh, to keep everything right there in there uh, when you need it. And what's also nice, it's rechargeable, so you don't need to buy any batteries. All right, everybody, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.